Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this 3D box transition animation in After Effects. So let's get started. Okay, as so always, let's start with a new composition, and I will go with 1080 by 1080 resolution, and let's call this placeholder one because this will be our uh, placeholder for the images. Uh, I will go with a uh, 10 second duration and 24 frames per second. Let's hit OK. OK, now uh, go to project panel and duplicate this six times by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. OK, perfect. Now we have uh, six placeholders like this. Now I have six images. I downloaded it from unsplash.com uh, where you can find free royalty field images. I will put the link in the description if you guys are interested. And okay, uh, after you duplicated the placeholder six times, now drag and drop images one by one. Here, uh, placeholder one, I will drag and drop this image and press S on the keyboard to scale it down if necessary. Now go to com placeholder two, double click and drag and drop your other images. This doesn't have to be uh, images, you can use video as well if you want. I will go to placeholder three and drag and drop my other image like this. I will keep doing it until I finish all the success orders. Okay, after you uh, build all the uh, placeholders like this, you should have a comp like this, six comp like this, with uh, filled with images. Okay, now uh, we need to create a new comp for the 3d box so let's create a new comp and i will call this 3d box let's go with the full HD resolution 90 20 1080 and 24 frames per second and let's give it 10 second duration i will go with a background color white hit ok ok perfect now uh, select all of these placeholders and drag and drop to the 3d box comp i will drag it here now uh, convert this, we need to convert this to 3D, so I'll select all the placeholders. Just click this 3D button, it will convert all into 3D layers. Okay. Now uh, press A on your keyboard, it will bring anchor point properties. And here we need to set this C value to 540 as well. So let's press 540 here and I will do this to all the layers like this this will basically reset the anchor point to the uh, middle of the 3d space so we can uh, create the 3d box okay now press ctrl a it will select all the layers and just close this up now go to placeholder 5 and press R on your keyboard. It will bring uh, rotation properties. Here we can set this Y value to 90. Okay. Let's just let's just press the 90 on Y value and let's close this up. Now open the placeholder, press R. It will again bring the rotation properties. Here we need to add the 270 in the Y value. This basically this is X, this is Y and this is C. Okay. Now go to placeholder 3, again press R. And here set the 180 for the X value. Again go to placeholder 2, you get the idea. Here I will set the 270 for the X value. Okay, place, uh, now select the placeholder 1, press R and set this to 90 okay perfect basically this will create the 3d box effect we can see it by creating a new camera so right click new camera and i will go with two node camera if you have one node make this to two node okay now press ok now press selection tool or you guys can just play with these camera options i will use this selection tool and then press or uh, and then i can press right click and drag it down also 
I can press left click and then I can rotate it like this. As you can see, we have a 3D box like this. Okay, perfect. Now let's reset the camera. Right click, transform, reset. Now press P on the keyboard. Now drag this C value down. Okay, that's perfect. Now create a new null. So right click, new null. I will call this 3D box. Convert this to 3D as well. So let's drag it down and select this all the placeholders and pick pip this to the 3D box null. Now press R, it will bring rotation properties. So we can now play with the rotation of this 3D box. Okay. Now let's give it a motion. I will create a uh, C. Okay. Let's animate the Y rotation. Go to zero second and create the keyframe. Go to 12 frame forward and set this to 90 degree. So we have a transition like this. Now I will select these keyframes. Press F9 on the keyboard. Go to graph editor. Right click value graph. I always like to use the value graph. Uh, it will give you more control and also nice preview of the motion okay something like this and then if you want to scale this up you can press shift s it will also bring the scale properties now create the keyframe go to 12 frame scale this up okay you guys get the idea Now I will press F9 again and create a new keyframe again. Go to 12 frame and set this to 100. Now let's create a keyframe for the X rotation. Go to 12 frame and set this to 90. As you can see, our image is rotated in the wrong direction. We can easily fix this. Let's find the comp here my comp is placeholder 2 so let's select this placeholder 2 now press r on the keyboard we can using this c value we can adjust it to right direction so in this case 270 for the c value now as you can see it fixed the problem let's give it a little bit time for the rotation something like this let's also give f9 curve like this now you can also create a keyframe for the c rotation and yeah that's basically how we animate this give it a little bit time to settle it as you can see it in the wrong direction so let's find the placeholder here in the placeholder 5 let's go to placeholder 5 press r and we can rotate it in the c axis in this case 180 degree on the c i will do one more rotation press u to reveal Let's give it to a little bit time. Let's give it a little bit more time to settle. And this time let's give it, let's animate the X rotation. Create a keyframe. Go to 12 frame. And set this to 180. Let's press F9 to last keyframe as well. Now we can scale this up again. Let's get keyframe and go to keyframe forward. Set this to hundred again.
press unknown keyboard it will inform here as you can see we can do more rotation if you want because i just want to show you the technique and that's all by the way guys uh, for the uh, finish this effect i create a new comb and call this final animation and drag and drop this 3d box comb into this new comb i duplicated this let me show you let's drag and drop this 3d box here and i can press ctrl d to duplicate this and go to 3d box there and press s to scale this up it will scale this up okay now go to effect and preset and search for fast box blur and we can crank this up to get that blur background blur and after that i go to this top layer and go to effect and preset and search for drop shadow this will add a drop shadow to the box and i can increase this opacity and also distance and then i can increase the softness to get that soft shadow like that and that's basically how i create this transition i hope you guys learn something new in this tutorial and if you have any question don't forget to ask in the comment section also thank you so much for the other patreon supporters i will see you guys in the next one have a great day